Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 19th, 19th of July 2025. You might hear the sounds of the rain in the background. It's evening here in Bangkok and it's been raining since this afternoon. Uh, most of the afternoon and evening it's uh, been a wet, wet day actually. Um, here's a cautionary tale. It sounds like it might be a sketch from a comedy show but it's not really. Uh, in New York, um, a person uh, walked into a room uh, where they were doing an MRI scan and he was wearing a large necklace and the mag magnetic attraction dragged him into the machine itself and apparently it seems to have nearly choked him or something. Uh, he's quite... Um, uh, he had, uh, had to um, be treated anyway for something, although they haven't said exactly what... Um, now, of course, when you get your M MRI scan, they always tell you to remove anything like that. But uh, this man had just kind of gone into the room, you know, as opposed to uh, uh, being a patient being treated. Um, so there you are. Watch out. If you're going into any MR room, MRI rooms for any reason, make sure you ha divest any metal or anything that could be pulled in by a magnet. Um, before you get in there, it's a, it's a, I could just imagine it happening, couldn't you? Anyway, uh, let's play our Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle, shall we? Four blocks across here, four blocks up here. There's a four. I hope you're enjoying your weekend, by the way. I did go swimming today before it rained. And in fact, I saw that it was going to rain. I left early. It was a waste of time swimming today because there were just too many kids in the pool. It was just so packed it was not 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 a great day for swimming so i kind of uh, left after a fairly short time and i thought well, looking at the sky it's going to pour with rain as well so i should uh, get out quickly and i just about got home in time before the rain started we've got sixes blocking like this that's going to give me a six in that square there we've got six going across here six in one of these two squares blocking across six across there six down there gives me a six in that square two blocks these two squares here so for that row we'll take a two there and we'll mention that this is a one and a nine for future use uh, we've got seven across there, seven up there. As I said, this is one and nine, so that will give us seven in that square. Seven blocking here, here, and there. So in that row, there's a seven. Missing numbers in this row, one, five, and eight. We've got five and eight down here. That will be our one then. Uh, and 1 and 8 block this square here. That puts 1 and 8 into those squares and leaves me with 4. 4 across here, 4 down, 4 up. Four down here, down here. I think we're going to get the all of the 4s here. 4 across here, down, down, and across there. Is this the last one? Yeah. Okay, that's all the four sorted out. Let me move myself on the chair. Um, okay, eight is one of our missing digits here. That blocks across there, eight across there. That's going to give me eight in that square there, right. Okay, so uh, along here we're looking for one, five, six, I think. There's a one, there's a six. Don't know about the five yet. Uh, this is one and nine. This is five and three no help there and this is whatever was not here what was was one five six so this is um two and nine in those squares okay so the nine blocking down there there's the nine and then we can get the two in that square there Now 
now eight blocks this square here so in this row there's our eight last digit for this row is a five Five blocking up here and up there means that that's a five. Uh, nine blocks this square here. We don't have nine in this column yet. It must go there. And of course, that's going to be our one. And this is eight. nine blocks up there that gives me a nine in this square and down here for the two Okay, let's go around. Let's rock around the clock, shall we? Nines down here and across there. Eight blocks this square, eight blocks this square. So in this column, there's our eight. And where are we? Five, seven. Yeah, there is. I knew I had something there. Five blocks across there. There's the five and there's the seven. Seven down here, seven across there and there. Two blocks this square and this square. So in this column, there's our two. Uh, digit 4 is our completed digit. The other things still have to be found.
ah, we haven't finished sevens because there's seven to be blocked over here and put in that location there. I didn't notice that. And there's a two here. Not an easy finish this. I thought, you know, it should be uh, pretty easy to finish off when you've got this number of digits already placed. Ought to be fairly easy, but no, it's one of those with a bit of a twist in the tail, I think. Yeah, not an easy ending. Oh, where do we go? Well, there aren't that many numbers left, um, but I can't, uh, I'm going to have to put in pencil marks because I can't see how to finish the game off with what I have. There could be some kind of Sudoku thing, me Bob, or maybe it's much easier than that, but I just can't see it anyway. So uh, pretty easy to fill in the candidates, and I'm not concerned that they'll be overloaded as they sometimes are. So we've got ones there, we've got eights in those squares and we've got nine somewhere missing numbers here are three and five missing numbers here are one and nine uh, over here we're looking for one in those squares we're looking for five in those squares and we're looking for six in those squares and down here we've got one, we've got three in those squares, and we've got six in those squares there. Uh, just two blocks to go now. Let's see what we can do. Uh, do we know anything about ones? Well, we've got one blocking down here, so we've got a pair of ones in those squares there. In this block here, 
one can still go anywhere let's put that in two blocks across here down here and across there so we get a pair of twos in those squares there three blocks across here that's about it fours are okay five five blocks down here and across there so we have a pair of fives in those squares there five blocks down here and across there so that's a pair of fives there but it's not a pair of five and three and it's not a one or five uh, so that's not it six blocks across here so six still possible in those squares there seven is okay eight blocks down here and here that gives us a pair of eights in those squares and eight blocks down here and across there it means eight is still possible in those squares there and then nine blocks across here and across there which means nine is somewhere along the bottom there right okay pencil marks are done like I said not that many and what is it going to give us uh, it may have to be a Sudoku type thing Oh, here we go. We've got one, three, and six. Three numbers in three squares. So I can get rid of the one and the three there. And I can get rid of the six just there. Um, does that do much? Five, eight. Well, we've got one, nine, and eight now, three numbers in three squares. So this eight can't be true. That has to be a five, and that should be enough to finish the game. Eight, then we'll go here, six there, one in that square, and a five here. Yeah, interesting finish, that. Six there, five there. Just shows you you can never count your chickens in Sudoku. Never count your Sudoku chickens before they are hatched. eight there's our nine nine in that square eight here two there okay a uh, nice game Matt good uh, little trick at the end there to uh, just when I thought things were going to be very easy an easy finish no stop and a pause to think at the end thank you for joining me take care bye bye